What's going on everyone? Thanks for checking out this video. I am proud to say it seems that the leaks talking about the DLCs to come in Fallout 4 has officially been revealed as true. In this video, I will be specifically discussing and taking an in-depth look at the details we got so far about the amazing Nuka world to come to Fallout 4. So sit back, relax, and I hope you all enjoy. So first off, what all can we actually figure out about this Nuka world? Well, according to Bethesda.net, here will be the pricings of it in the US, UK, and Australia and will be releasing sometime in August. My guess will be mid to late August. They don't want to get rid of their last piece of DLC so quickly. And plus, to uh, further my guess, Contraptions is the first of the three new add-ons, and will be releasing in a week, which its release will be near the end of this month. So my best guess for Nuka World will release sometime mid to late August, just like Contraptions. Anyways, the little piece of paragraph information we have about this Nuka World DLC reads, take a trip to Nuka World, a vast amusement park, now a lawless city of raiders. Explore an all new region with an open wasteland and park zones like Safari Adventure, Dry Rock Gulch, Kitty Kingdom, and the Galactic Zone. Nuka World will feature new quests, raiders, weapons, creatures, and more. Enjoy the ride. So let's break down this little piece of info we have here to get more of a detail of what's going to be inside this DLC. Starting with the trip to Nuka World, a vast amusement park, now a lawless city of raiders. We know from this little parts we'll be taking a trip like we did with Far Harbor, except this time it'll be to an amusement park. It could be by a boat, kind of like what you can do at the biggest amusement park ever, Disney. Then again, I don't know if exactly if they're going to be taking this approach again, or we're going to be taking a boat over, or what. But you can take a cruise to Disney. And I guess the other information that we know about uh, what's going to be here is that it's going to be filled with raiders. Next part of the paragraph reads, explore an all new region with an open wasteland and park zones like Safari Adventure, Dry Rock Gulch, Kitty Kingdom, and the Galactic Zone. Nuka World features new quests, raiders, weapons, creatures, and more. Enjoy the ride. From this piece of info, we now know it will be for sure a new region to explore. It says with an open wasteland park zones like Safari Adventure, Dry Rock Gulch, Kitty Kingdom, and Galactic Zone. So from this, we actually know for a fact it will contain an open wasteland. Park zones are zones of the amusement park we'll be able to explore, and Safari Adventure is basically like we take an adventure being able to see animals in their habitat. So who knows how exactly this will actually play out, but I have a feeling this will be where the new creatures will end up being at. Well, a lot of them will be at. The question is, what creatures will we be seeing in this Safari Adventure? Or will the Safari Adventure just also be filled with raiders, just like the rest of the amusement park, probably? No, I don't actually think so. I think we probably could see some raiders riding some creatures. That is a pretty high possibility. But for this place just being filled with specifically raiders, I highly doubt it. I mean, why on earth would they actually name it Safari Adventure? It's definitely going to contain some creatures in this area. As for Dry Rock Gulch, it gets me to imagine a desert of some sort, which has me actually getting some good vibes thinking about Fallout New Vegas that a lot of us love, especially me, so I get good vibes thinking about the Dry Rock Gulch. Kitty Kingdom, I imagine a kid's paradise with a bunch of smiling and creepy aesthetics. The reason I say creepy because this place is now filled with killers and not so kid friendly. So there's probably like blood and destroyed looking, you know, kid stuff. And I don't know, I just get a strange vibe thinking about that. I also, of course, picture not only creepiness, but a kingdom. Like at the beginning of the trailer, it was basically a castle entrance to enter inside the amusement park. I'm guessing that we'll for sure be starting around this area before we actually go inside the amusement park. And lastly, for these details that they give us on these park zones, that we'll be seeing a galactic zone which will more than likely be a space feel. You guys have probably seen this sign and this poster around sometime in Fallout 4. I'm actually guessing that this is going to be a part of the Nuka world. Well, the gun that the Space Dominatrix is holding. As you guys can see, it is a Nuka-Cola alien blaster. And while I have actually yet to see this gun, nor this spacesuit, I'm having a good feeling that these will be located somewhere in the Nuka world. I mean, of course, there will be a male version of this spacesuit. And as you can see, this Nuka blaster is a toy. It comes in every box purchased. But I'm hoping that there will actually be a unique weapon of this Nuka Blaster somewhere in the Nuka world. I mean, I don't know for sure, of course, but I'm guessing that these will be located somewhere in the Galactic Zone. Also, it does read in the last bit of info of this paragraph that there will be new Nuka world features, new quests, raiders, weapons, creatures, and more. Enjoy the ride. 
So seeming on the name Safari Adventure, once again, we'll probably be seeing some of the new creatures there. And we also have a clue at one of the new weapons and armor, the Nuka-Cola Blaster and that spacesuit that we saw. Okay, yeah, that's about wrapping up that whole paragraph. Anyways, now since we've broken down what we know so far, let's take a deeper look at the eye candy information we got to take in from the Nuka World trailer release at E3. As you can see in the beginning, there is a raider that misses a shot at a rad roach. But taking a closer look at that raider, you will notice the gun he is carrying looks kind of like Kellogg's pistol. The shoes look like high top converses, and the armor has a red tint to it. There's also a little souvenir bear clipped onto it to give it more of that amusement park feel. So all this pretty much that I just mentioned right there is new. And if you notice next to this raider, the helmet next to him looks completely different than anything I've actually seen. It almost looks as if it's replicating an elephant, as you can see. As funny as this may sound to some of you, will one of the new creatures actually be added into this DLC be an elephant? I mean, it would make perfect sense in a way for an elephant to actually be added into the safari adventure. I mean, that would be a perfect location. Of course, it would be radiated and mutated, but yeah, that would be one scary creature. Anyways, moving onward in this short trailer, you'll notice some people here, which I believe to be settlers at this amusement park, have clothing on we've actually never really seen much in Fallout 4. Like, the mask that pretty much covers the whole face, and these, I don't know, unique looking robes they have on. And not to mention, some of them have some different armor on as well. Also, we can see the mascot waving in the center. Or is that a robot? I'm not exactly sure. But I know for sure that is something new. And if we look closely at this crowd, you can actually see a robot walking into the amusement park though. I know for sure that one is a robot. Looks like a Nuka-Cola guard bot or something. And if we pause it here, you can notice a bunch of different details inside the amusement park. For instance, here, the center of the park has a big Nuka-Cola bottle, and this is for the centerpiece to the swing ride. And on the right side, literally right before the Nuka-Cola Smiley bottles pop up at the end of this trailer, you can notice a Ferris wheel in the far right background next to a mountain with a humongous Nuka-Cola bottle on it. Looks as if you might be able to actually enter inside this mountain, because I can see what looks like to be a, a balcony um, that's connected to this. And also at the bottom of this mountain, it looks like an entrance. Anywho, on the left side of this place, you can also notice a destroyed roller coaster off in the distance, and a rocket spaceship thing on the far left hand side. Which I'm guessing that's probably where the uh, galactic area is at. Um, for the safari adventure, I'm not exactly sure where that would be located at probably off in the distance of past the mountain. But for Kitty Kingdom, I'm actually suggesting that it'll probably be in the center of this area since it is surrounded by castle walls, or it could be off somewhere at a kitty section in this amusement park. I mean, I don't exactly know. And for Dry Rock Gulch, I'm guessing it's probably located around this area back here. But yeah, there you guys have it, everybody, an in-depth analysis of the Nuka world. Hope you guys ended up enjoying this. This took a while to make. And if you did enjoy this, uh, consider leaving a like. It's greatly appreciated, everyone. But I'm out of here. Thanks for watching. Remember to stay safe out there, especially from rapists. The world seems to be filled with those things for some odd reason. And also, try to avoid sleeping and poop. That can get pretty nasty. I'll catch you all on the flip side. Peace out.